there's so many good looking, trendy people in, and also some really hairy, well dressed men as well. That were in the room. Nice to see you all. But who's been drinking? Just a show of hands. Who's been drinking? <laughs> here's, here's, here's a little, little tri uh, tip for you. This is a little game I like to play. What I like to do go to pubs, clubs, anywhere like this, sells alcohol. And what I like to do is find the most drunk or stoned person in the whole place, the most off their face person, fella. Right, madam? Don't need to go far, do we? Right? And what you do is you walk up to them and you say, Hi, hi, there, there. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, 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 Fucks them right up, fella. They're like, oh my god! <laughs> Where's my mum? <laughs> that was him shitting himself, lovely. <laughs> Bless you, you look quite shocked at that. I mean, you quite trim a proper. I'm sure you don't fart. If you do, you suck it back in, didn't you, lovely? Eh? <laughs> <Hey? laughs> so, hey, some of you might laugh, but there might be a lift in this very building. And it's happened to all of us. There you are in a packed lift, isn't it? Pack lift. Accidents happen, one accidentally slips out, doesn't it? <laughs> Suck it back in again. Huh? See? <laughs> Embarrassment of it. Now, a lot of you people, a lot of you might be surprised to know that I wasn't particularly a normal child. <laughs> I wasn't fair. I wasn't. My voice broke, people. My voice broke when I was just five years old. Just five. And I remember the time it happened very, very vividly. There I was in the playground. My best friend Toby at the time, he came running over. And he said to me, Man, man, do I play football? Do I play football? Let me grab him, go for the pack. I can have a kick him out, we can do as I can't, just go, but you can be in other possession of your stag in the thunder. Even that substitute, sorry, just sit on the bench. Like a hell can't do play. <laughs> and I take the tone. And I said, Yeah, I'll play a flop. Boom. <laughs> okay, got a glove, shit pants, everything, please. Please. Let me play. And for some reason, Toby screamed. Can you imagine, folks? There I was, there I was, at the age of five, the face of an angel. The voice of Barry White. I used to get, used to get so embarrassed when they called the registering class. There I'd be, people. At my desk, my teacher, Miss Wells, at the front, calling everybody's name for the register. Adam. Yeah. Alison. Amelia, <laughs> Billy, <laughs> uh, Brian, <laughs> uh, Benjamin, <laughs> Colin, <laughs> uh, Kieran. <laughs> it's quite a big class, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Dean, <laughs> Darren, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> at the back of the home. Oh, sorry. It wasn't easy, that's what I'm saying, people. It wasn't easy. My teacher, she would pick on me during lessons, she would, she would pick, there I'll be, sat at my desk, sat at my desk, riding away with crayons, you know, nothing too sharp, <clears throat> right? And she'd be going around asking everybody questions individually, right? Alison, what's one apple? That's one apple. That's two apples, please. Very good, that's very good. Now tell me what's two apples, plus two apples. That's four apples, please. Oh, God, stop you, eh? Ooh. Now, Mark. Yes, miss. Particles A and B with a mass of five kilograms and three kilograms are connected to a line extensible string which passes through a hole in a table. Now, particle A and vertically below the table, whilst particle B makes a circular radius of 40 centimetres on the surface of the table, which is smooth. What is the velocity of particle B if particle A is at rest? I'll be honest, people, okay? I was just five. I hadn't got a flipping clue. I just looked straight at my teacher and I said, Are you taking the piss? <laughs> hey, I'm 
Pampus, das war voll im Geist. I used to get picked on a lot of school. Did you, did you get picked on school, fella? Yeah, I got picked on. All the, all the other kids at school, they would chase me round the playground trying to lift up my skirt, look at my knickers, you know. I get my own back though, I wouldn't wear knickers. Hey! <laughs> exactly, bollocks to them. They would shout across the playground, they'd go, Oi, four eyes! Yeah, four eyes. Do you see my pain, fella? Four eyes. Specs say this posse in the house. Mind you, for me, all the talks did stop once I had the special operation to have the two extra eyeballs removed from my forehead, but it wasn't easy. It wasn't being a four-eye transvestite on a tool like this. But luckily, my mum, at the time, she could see I was quite stressed. And like any good mum, she took me to one side, she did, she sat me down, she did, and she said to me, Mark, there is absolutely nothing wrong with you, eh? You're fine. Mm. Remember, you're the first, the last, of everything. <laughs> My mum, bless her. Hey? She's like a father to me, she is. Oh, father! Hey? I mean, okay, my mum, she might be a little bit on the masculine side of things, but on the other hand, my dad, he's got big tits and red dresses, so <laughs> I find that evens things out for me, that does. Now, I can tell a few of you are looking at me and thinking, Mark, Mark, your voice sounds quite normal these days. And I let you into a little secret, I'm actually on a special course of helium tablets. Um, I've got them with me here, they're very expensive, these helium tablets, because I tell you what, if you let go of them, that's all I do for an hour now, folks. Yeah. I, I wish I was joking, people. I wish I was joking. Eh? There's going to be a lot of light in here. Have we locked the doors? Have we locked them? Really, I should have wrote more jokes, I'm sorry. Um, no, geez. I know, it's nice to see so many people out tonight, because I know, I know money is quite tight. Is I've been trying to be good. Been trying to save up the pennies, you know, uh, stashing it in the kitty. I'll be honest! It does scare the hell out of the poor thing. I think someone ran into towards it with a big two pound coin. And I'll tell you what, people, you need to run up with that. Get a run up and some loot. Come here, Tinkles! Right up there. <laughs> some of you, actually, some of you might have noticed that uh, I'm a ventriloquist. Yes. Yes, I know. I'll tell you what, ventriloquism is a great skill. If you want to liven up a relationship with a blow up doll, I see your eyes perk up for that. Go on, take notes, don't be shy. Go on. Yeah. I thought you were actually tweeting for a napkin there at a biro. Just a drink, just picture, this, picture the scene, you and your lovely rubber lady get comfortable and you've got to get the right atmosphere, you've got to get the right atmosphere. Have a bit of Barry on the stereo. Oh yeah. Have some candles, no obviously not too close. Right. Then, when everything's just right, you and your rubber lady, the atmosphere's, everything's perfect. There you are. Do you like that? Oh yeah. <laughs> really? You're huge, you're a sex god. <laughs> You're just so that cheeky. Oh, the odd dog is staying. Okay. Harder, harder, faster, faster. Don't stop, Terry. Who the fuck is Terry? <laughs> Two hours. Two hours burn you up, mathematic. I almost flipping died. And you, you go and treat me like this. I'm not happy. <laughs> now, I've, uh... uh... Thank you, you five people. Um, 
don't fucking laugh at that, you bastards. Um, <laughs> I've, I've brought one, so I'm a little bit embarrassed to play because I know there's a lot of really good um, uh, musicians in the room. I've got the let me just... I've, um, I've been trying to combine the styles of punk and folk into something I like to call poke. Tonight, I'd like to poke you all. Um, this first song, this first song is a short song, it's a little song, it's something I wrote when I was 10 years old and this song, it, it means a lot to me because it's something I wrote for my dear Nan and it was the last thing I got to sing to my, my dear Nana before she died. So I, I hope you don't mind me sharing you lovely people tonight, thank you. Your Satan's bitch, your Satan's bitch, your Satan's bitch, not in hell! As I said, it's a short song. It's a short song. My nan, bless her. My nan, when she heard that song, she had tears in her eyes. Tears, bless her. Love her ears as well, but that's, uh, that's another thing. I know, I know uh, a lot of uh, guitarists in the room will say that uh, a guitar is uh, it's very much like a woman, isn't it? It's very much like a woman, isn't it? It's got a, it's got a head, a long, slender neck, a curvy, voluptuous body, a G-string, a sound hole, a sound hole, the mouth from which sweet music emanates, and it makes a noise when you finger it, so, um, oh, thank you, I'm going to add one every night, that was it. Um, I'll play a little song there. Who here is in a relationship? Who's here? Show of hand. Who's, who's together? Are you, two, are you two in the front there? Oh, bless. You look a lovely couple. Yeah. So are you happy? Yeah. Don't worry. Cracks will appear. But, um, but anyway, this is, a, this, is, this is a little song about a relationship not quite working out. I hope you like Why does loving you have to hurt so much? It's a topic of conversation we never touch. I'd like a quiet night with you, snuggled on the sofa. But I know it's the kind of thing you go for. If you like whips and chains on BBC, watching torture porn on DVD, chaining me to the radiator, threatening me with a huge vibrator. Hurt so much. What's wrong with a dinner date at our local pizza house? Last week at work, I had to wake up and lie. To come in finance about how I got that black guy. As you know, just in our flat like a London dungeon, smack me around with a rubber truncheon, giving my balls a hot can of wax, and watching me have panic attacks. Why does loving you have to hurt so much? All I want is hugs and kisses to fill your tender touch. I'll send you flowers and chocolates, so what do you need? My carpet bones and with my arms and numerous STDs. So I'm sorry, but I'll have that. 